Welcome to the Christoph Lewis Podcast, Create Your Career. This is Contemplation with Christoph, episode number 129, total episodes number 301. There are two segments within this podcast, Create Your Career. They're the contemplations, these ones where it's just me contemplating. And then there are the conversations where I interview a guest, typically a vet or first responder, proving to you, or at least that's my goal, to prove to you that it is possible to find a career that you love. I struggled with military transition. I think a lot of people do. And ultimately, what I found through my journey of podcasting and trying to help others and myself was that a lot of people struggle with just finding what they want to do and not really realizing what that could be. So everything in the entirety of the podcast, the conversations, the contemplations are directed towards you finding a career that you love being happy in the moment and Let's prove it to yourself that it is possible to be able to do it. Before we get into it, remember you can find this episode in all things podcast on any podcast app on audio. You can head over to YouTube and subscribe. That would be super helpful. Check out all the other guests that I've had on here and all the other contemplation episodes that I've had on here. A lot of cool episodes, a lot of user requested episodes are on there. And honestly, a lot of user requested guests have been on there. Like I said, this is the 301st episode episode almost coming up on three years of podcast and so i highly encourage you to check it out head over to itunes and rate five stars and tell me what you like today we're going to talk about how to get an engineering job without a degree you could substitute that for anything a job that calls for a degree how to get it without actually having a degree so let's get into it so in classic fashion spoiler alert i'm just going to say it here at the beginning try how do you get an engineer? How do you get anything? How do you get any kind of job or anything in your life without the credentials? How do you do anything? You have to believe in yourself. And it's not more complicated than that. You have to identify that you're going to do it and then reverse engineer. Speaking of engineering, you have to reverse engineer the how. Understanding what you want to do, that's the hard part. That's what this podcast is. That's the journey of what this podcast is, what it, what do we want to do, and then how are we going to do it? The rest of the show, I'm going to talk about how I did it because I didn't think it was possible, and it turns out it is possible. Most people seem to talk. I posted about this recently, and very few people seem to take action. For me, I was able to to do this, and most of the people, I don't want to say all the people, but most of the people in my life, especially those. Uh, in a capacity to mentor me what to do. They, they wanted the best for me while I was in the military, but a lot of those folks said that I, mean, I needed college or I needed to do this or needed to do that, but I had a vision and I knew how I was going to get there. And for me, it was becoming an engineer at AWS. And I will say, if you are listening to this, shout out to the, the person that hired me. But how do they do that? I identified that I wanted to do that end goal. I wanted to work there, the position I wanted to work at. And then I reverse engineered from that. I knew that I had to have Linux, for example, right? So two years before I got out of the military, I started teaching myself Linux every single day, seven days a week. I hated doing it. I felt like an idiot. But I understood that this was a prerequisite of the bare minimum to have a pretty good grasp on Linux because that's what this job entailed. So some might say, well, why did you pick a job that you had to learn something completely? Why didn't you, like completely new, why didn't you go do something else? And that's a great question. Uh, for me, I, it was complicated, or I should say it wasn't straightforward, but I had mentors that I knew uh, that I could be able to leverage to be able to help me. And I felt as if this was the best stepping stone outside of the military like from the military, my military transition, first job out of the military, that this was the uh, best stepping stone, um, the most lucrative. And I don't just mean in a financial aspect. I mean uh, where I could learn the most and I could be challenged the most. It wasn't a job that I, you know, had the credentials for now. It was something that I really had to work for and it would set me up in the long term. So a couple of things we talked about so far is just trying, believing yourself, 
uh, most talk, few take action. So take action, study, and study a lot. And even when you don't want to do it, just like working out, you have to do it even when you don't want to do it. And I had mentors and I had a lot of mentors. And if those mentors are listening to this show, uh, thank you because I did it number one, because I believed in myself. I did it because I had mentors. I did it because I had dedication and determination. And I studied every single day for over two years. I did it because somebody took a chance on me as well. And I did it because I worked on my soft skills by reading tons of books and having tons of conversations like this. The podcast, I firmly believe, did help me to be able to work on how I articulate myself and how to brush up on my soft skills. So there's over a handful of things that helped me get, in this case, an engineering job without a degree. A degree uh, is important, is very important, but it's not a prerequisite for success. It's not always required for success, even in jobs that require it. So some might say, how is that possible? Well, companies are smart, especially big companies, the the IT companies, the AWS, is the Microsofts, the whomever it is, they are smart and they understand that if somebody has a degree, this is a prerequisite that they have a certain bar of knowledge for. However, if somebody goes in, like me, I worked very hard at other things. Uh, the whole college conversation is a different conversation, but I worked hard and excelled at these other things. And that person that took a chance on me recognized this by asking the right questions, which is another completely conversation ask the right questions, especially on you're on the receiving end if you're looking to have somebody work with you. But if you've identified through all those questions, those soft skill questions, that this person is willing to learn and to grow, like I made another episode about how I made a crypto machine to help get me a job, and that was part of this. And that's a cool episode, actually. You should go check it out. It really helped me learn Linux to be able to get this job. So it's all tied together. It's possible. You can do it. There's a whole plethora of ways to be able to do it, um, believing in yourself, having other people help you, and working on these things. It's my firm belief that in these situations, skills and knowledge matter unequivocally. Across the board, they do matter. But I would say most jobs, obviously not all jobs, most jobs, a lot of jobs are about relationships. If you can talk to people. I think about my current job. I no longer work at the job I'm talking about right now, but it's all about relationships and how you talk to people. There's a lot of other things. Do you produce results? Clearly very important. But as far as soft skills goes, being able to manage relationship is incredibly important. So in conclusion, I want to drive home the point that it's possible, but you have to try. It's not possible if you don't try. And as I posted the other day, uh, yesterday, I believe, I find that so many people talk. Uh, friends? myself. Hell, I'm not even a dime friends out and people that I've heard on social media and people that I've talked to in person. Hell, I'll just talk about me. I have wanted to do many things and I have done very few of those things. So I need to get my shit together. I have done well, but I can do better and I'm selling myself short. It's fun to have dreams. It's fun to talk about those dreams, but it's a lot harder to execute on those dreams. And ultimately, it's the hardest to achieve results from that execution, from the dream. So it's this funnel. It's an idea to take action. Not all actions are results and positive results. Many of it is failure, but you have to take action to have a chance of success. And I need to continue to do that. So I hope you learn from my story and you believe in yourself. You try, you find mentors, You study even when it sucks, even when you don't want to do it. You work on your soft skills, you read books, you talk to people, and you keep on trying and you never give up. So thank you so much for listening. I greatly appreciate it. Remember, you can find me on Instagram at Christoph Lewis. You can head over to ChristophLewis.com, head over to iTunes and Apple Podcast, rate five stars. YouTube, go over there and subscribe. That would be massively helpful and share this podcast episode out with a friend. As I always say at the end of these episodes, you're not going to agree with everything that I say, and that's cool. That would be weird if you did, but hopefully you can pull one thing out of here, and you can apply it to your own life, and it would get you a little bit closer to your version of success, whatever that is. Have faith in yourself. This was just an example from my life of something that I didn't think was possible, that most maybe don't think is possible, because there are these certain prerequisites, but just try the worst thing you're going to do is not get it and you'll be in the same position as if you hadn't tried. It's 
Uh, one of my favorite quotes is this Jim Carrey quote. He's talking about his father. I believe he was an electrician and he was a great actor or I'm sorry. He was a great comedian as well. Jim Carrey's father. And he never tried because he wanted to be able to provide his family and he thought it was too risky. But when Jim was a child, he lost his father, lost his job and they, they may hit very hard times. So he says, Jim says, you can fail at what you don't want to do. So why not try at what it is that you do want to do? You can fail at things you like. You can fail at things you don't like. So why not try for the things that you do love? So have the best day ever, and I'll see you next week.